Hey everybody, Dennis here. Today we're going to be working on a project that I've been putting off for a little while. This is the Whirlpool water filter that uh, is going to be replaced. Uh, actually right here. Uh, dang, I got ants all over me. Yeah, I got a lot of fire ants over here. I done sprayed, but they ain't that off yet. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, this is it right here. Um, problem with it was is there's a when it goes to backwash, there's a switch that detects uh, what position it's in. Well, it never was detecting, so it kept on spinning, kept on spinning. It was just constantly uh, pushing water out, uh, trying to backwash. So it created a low water pressure issue for me. Anyway, I had some issues getting it repaired because I had an extended contract on it. And finally, I uh, uh, was able to get the extended warranty company to just refund me the purchase price on it so I went and bought a new one plus I had to pay for a uh, actually all I was out of pocket was a uh, extended warranty so that was like 40 bucks so anyway that's what we're going to do today uh, gotta try and get in here I gotta shut off the water and I'm gonna have to cut these pipes on the back because I'm gonna do this a little separately because or a little differently than I did last time because if you can see here I don't have my shut off bypass like I do up here I uh, didn't get the right fittings so uh, I wasn't able to put it in anyway I do have those this time so that's what we're going to do here in just a minute one other thing we were going to do when I was over here was uh, put a bag of uh, salt in the water softener which is that deal over there I got to get to it from the other side but uh, to show you how bad my water is out here <clears throat> alright let's see this is this is the water coming straight out of the well yeah a lot of iron and that stuff stains let me tell you and then this one would go into the softener or excuse me the filter and after it was filtered it would come out and I can see a difference in between these two I don't know if y'all can there's less but <laughs> not by much but that filter hasn't been working for four months five months something like that and then the softener, believe it or not, gets rid of a lot of that crap. And it actually makes the water pretty clear. Um, so the next step is, is I gotta trim these pipes. Um, I got the old filter out laid over trying to drain the water out of it. And that's about it for right now, I guess, until I get the next step done. Like I said, I gotta trim these pipes. Man, can you imagine getting that on your whites? We didn't wash we didn't wash clothes here for a long time because of this crap. So, because it would stain anything and everything. But anyway, yeah, got to trim these pipes, get them lined up to where I want them, and I'll bring y'all back when I got that done. All right, y'all, really didn't film a whole lot um, because it was kind of a head scratcher. I didn't have all of the uh, piping that I needed, so I had to kind of rig up if you see there had to use some old stuff I had laying around and uh, anyway all of it's glued and one thing that you know I don't know how but my bypass was turned on on my softener don't know how because I don't remember doing it so but anyway I'm gonna maybe that's why I haven't been using so much salt <laughs> anyway uh, I gotta let it dry I'm gonna give it at least an hour and then I'm going to come out here and turn the valve on and check for leaks. Alright, y'all, it's been uh, about an hour since I uh, put the last connection on. I'm going to test it. Got my fingers crossed. I got both of the uh, valves on bypass right now. Uh, just because. Anyway, here goes. See anything so far? Well pumps done kicked on. I 
still need to uh, put the cap on this deal and uh, plug it in. And I was going to let the uh, water pressure build up first and slowly open both of them. But uh, anyway, looks like it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the valve all the way on. Still don't see any leaks. Good thing. And uh, I'll bring y'all back here in a minute when I uh, get the uh, control panel on and plugged in. And I'll open the bypass valves back up. Alright y'all, got it on. Uh, didn't have any leaks until uh, I opened the uh, bypass valve here and actually completely uh, had it engaged. And I guess the O-ring little clips on the back like these. They're on here too. They weren't, I guess one of them wasn't seated or something, but anyway, this whole piece blew back, but luckily I had my hand on it, so I didn't get too wet, but anyway, it's doing its recharge cycle right now. Uh, this should take about 20 minutes. I'm fixing to go inside and eat my lunch, and uh, I'll come back out here and check on it uh, when I get done eating. All right, y'all, everything's back together, working fine. I got this extra hose that I'm going to put on the softener there and the softener didn't come with one anyway um no leaks everything's in service mode um it did its 20 minute back flush to settle the particles in the tank and i scheduled the softener to go ahead and do a, a flush since there was no pressure earlier um and this is one of those videos that didn't quite go as planned uh, so sorry about that, but, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and everybody have a great day.